here for you, boss. 100%. That's what I like to hear, Penny. Good job. Hello. How can I help you? Keep your blood sugar up. When you finish what you've got, I'll give you some more. Are you sure you need more snacks? Let me know what you want, and I'll tell the Pegasus people to get it ready. Okay, I'll get it landed on the helipad. Well, this car is being looked after by a professional outfit, shall we say? And they're taking it out to sea. So, you're going to need to airlift it out with a yeah. car up. Pick up the helicopter, then pick up the car. Okay, now you're flying offshore and lifting the cart right off the ship. Don't expect them to make it easy, though. Oh, way over here. Hmm, usually it's on the west coast for me. Today we're going to the east coast. It's a loud helicopter. Jabba, 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 jabba. <laughs> Alright. So, guys, this is the... N disliked, even borderline hated mission. <laughs> For CEO car warehouses. The barge mission. Yep. Hello everybody, that's me in there. I'm the missing sock. Welcome back to more Grand Theft Auto Online. And uh, today we're just running a little bit of a CEO car mission. And a little while ago they took out these missions because uh, I thought we'd re revisit this one because um, a lot of people have trouble with it. And uh, a little while ago they took it out of the game and a lot of people were unhappy to see they brought it back. So they, they used to have this mission but uh, for a little while after an update, as soon as you, you got the mission, as soon as you got your helicopter, one way or the other, it quite often fail the mission. So apparently, you know, from what you're reading the notes, I think the barges got flooded somehow, but you'd never see that because it was far away. And it killed the car and it just instantly failed. Yep. So they fixed that bug and now the mission is back. And we're on our way to get it. Now, it's not one of my favorite ones, that's for sure, because of the time it takes. I always like those ones where the car's right there around the corner, and you pick it up and you go. That's that's nice. <laughs> that's my favorite one. <laughs> yep. But we can't always be so lucky. Sometimes you got to chase down the cop chase. Sometimes you got to um, fight off a gang first and follow the guy around, the Seoul Korean uh, gang, you know. Well, there's all kinds of missions. But the barge mission has a few different ones. I think there's two on the west coast at least, and one here on the east coast. There might be as many as five spots, but I think there's three. Now, you generally want to pick up the cargo bob. I think it can provide one, or generally it's a good idea to buy one. They're good for the uh, car missions. I use them all the time for pretty much all of the car sourcing, except for very few missions. Now, these ones, they also have helicopters come after you, and we're far away from our warehouse, so it's a bit of a pain. So this is another reason why you guys might want to watch our how to get top range only because from that I get the 811 as my chosen car primarily because if I ever have to hit the ground and drive it's a fast car. And there is some options of cars that you might like certain ones have better handling maybe avoid more damage and certain ones go faster if you think you can handle it and not get too much damage. All right so here we are on the island right next to that barge. Let's pull out our right uh, sniper rifle. The simpler basic ones actually got a slightly longer range. I, mean, I think I'll switch over to my high powered one though. Usually it's one shot kill with this one. Now be careful not to point it guys. This is for a lot of missions. It's a lot of missions they seem to detect you as soon as you look at them. So I kind of look around them, you know. So we're going to take these guys out and then fly our helicopter over there and hopefully pick up the uh, car without too much issues. And then we're going to gain a whole bunch of altitude. That's kind of the trick to flying fast and far with uh, before the helicopters show up, and we're going to get away. So let's see if we can do that. There we go. Oh. Oh, oh. oh. I was close. Usually they don't do uh, much damage, but these guys have got crazy accuracy in some of these missions for the AI. Yeah, no problem putting on some body armor. And I think I only started with uh, half body armor. I'd already taken some hits elsewhere on a different day, apparently. 
So it's just logging into the stuff. But I don't always top up my body armor all depending on my mood and the missions. Okay, I should have looked around longer. <laughs> there might still be a guy down there. Let's hope not. So let's go to our snacks, because I'm going to eat up. There we go. So we're all ready. Okay, just lift off and I'm going to drop my hook. Hook's ready to go. Let's find that vehicle. I can see the shine of it right now, the purpleness of the car. I'm going to drop right in and go quick in case there is a guy, but I don't think there is. So let's get to clear those guys out first. Don't touch the car until you're ready. There we go. Picked up the car. Now see the global signals just being set off there? So now we're on the map. I think I'm all by myself, yeah. But it doesn't really matter though. The point is though that, uh, that don't touch the car until you're ready and people won't see you on the map. They will see you on the map, but they won't know what you're up to. You'll just look like you're hanging out here or whatever, right? It's not until now that I'm a red icon on the map, you know, alerting them that they should come destroy this car. And, uh, you know, mean players and newbies, well, <laughs> not too many smart players do. And I don't mean that just because of uh, I got a heart or anything like that. I, I mean that also because it's really not worth the money to hunt down people. I mean, it pays you like five grand. You can make uh, better money, you know, just running missions. It probably, probably uh, costs you money running down people more than it profits. So there we go. So I've been gaining altitude and eventually you leave the distance. You know, imagine there's like an invisible bubble around the target area down there where we got the car. Just like there is with a lot of missions, a little ring, you know? And so we've just left that ring, we've went too high, and then the buzzards spawn as soon as you leave the area. So you want to stay where we were, and that's why I kept on raising up my altitude. So that you stay in that area as long as possible. And that way your cargo bot can go fast, because you can just push it forward. And those guys stay behind you. I gotta decide here, do I want to go around or over? Uh, I think we're gonna have to go around. I should have maybe gone over. We'll see. Fortunately, this is gonna cut the path and get them closer to me. Now, if it wasn't for this eastern location, I'd be further ahead of them. It'd be even better. But because of this spot, it's pretty far away from me and lets them catch up as I do that. So I'm full forward in my cargo bomb. They're shooting, but they're not really getting me yet. And I'm out dropping altitude because I'm full forward too, and carrying something. So here and there you want to pull up a little bit, but you want to avoid it. On a normal mission I do more of this to get up, but I can't afford the time for them to catch up on me. Now the hits are starting to come in. Now it's okay, you don't need to panic, I mean, sometimes, but... Hopefully, they keep hitting the helicopter. Oh, there they go, hitting the car, 1690. I was going to say, in a sense, the helicopter's expendable. We get new ones, you know, so it's okay if the helicopter takes the hits. The car is our money, right? So remember that if your helicopter gets all shot up and smoking, you know, it's still free, in a sense, if you bought it, you know, and you can just get another one, spawn in another one through Pegasus. But the car, like that, is actually losing our money of 2500 Not very much, though. That's only a small damage. We're going to get uh, 80 grand minus that 2,500 when we sell this. So my cargo, my uh, container is sadly way over here. My uh, car warehouse. And it's a great spot, normally, for the western coast ones, but the eastern coast one, like this one, is hard because i got to go all the way from where you've seen. But as you guys can see, I'm almost there. And they're going to fade off as you get to your zone. Here we're in like almost like another invisible bubble. Oh, it blasts me one more time, of course. Now they've stopped shooting at us. They started raising. Because we're close to that. I wouldn't take chances. I'd get it in there. But generally, as soon as you get into your area of your car warehouse, they stop shooting at you. And there we go. So the buzzards caught up to us and still only did uh, 2,500 in damage. Pretty low. If I had done a head-on collision, I might have done, like on the road, I probably would have done more damage than that. Now, this is no good. <laughs> but actually, it's still capable. I bet you could still fly further with it. Good work. The car's been stored. Come back to the office if you want to source another. All right. 
Now it's kind of finicky near the airport, so I stand over here to spawn in my vehicle, my uh, my buzzards and stuff, and then it kind of works a little bit better. There we go. For those that have these areas, you'll know what I mean. It doesn't like you spawning in at the airport, so when you're right beside the airport, it can be a little strange. But if I go over to that spot and a couple other spots around here in this parking lot, I can spawn in things no problem. Instead of it telling me it's too far from a road, or it actually spawning way over there on the road and I gotta run all the way over to it. Okay. So, did I go too far? I did go too far. Pegasus. So we're gonna call in another Pegasus uh, cargo bomb. Hello, this is Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? Thank you, sir. Your spectacular aircraft is now ready for you at our nearest airfield. Just to go do that cell with. Because the other one was a little shot up. <laughs> so, brand new one. Yay, for only $200, calling it in again. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. I'm the Missing Talk. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, thanks for being here. Yeah, so hopefully that helps you guys out. That's the Cargo Bob uh, CEO car sourcing mission. I'm going to go sell that car, but at the same time, you know, you've already seen that before. That's not really anything to do with the mission per se. You could you could do it now. You could do it later. I'm going to just, by chance, be doing it now. But that's about all there is to the Cargo Bob missions. So get your Cargo Bob. Hopefully you bought one. But if you didn't buy one, um, it provides one. So go get that one and uh, fly your way out to those barges. If you want to do the mission, you could always quit the mission and source again, right? That's another option too. But otherwise, um, you just simply uh, uh, fly out there and land somewhere nearby, preferably, if you don't have any friends helping you or otherwise, and snipe all those guys that are possible to get and uh, cargo bob it away. Now, when you do grab the cargo bob, make sure you fly all the way up, like we talked about. Just get as much height as possible before those helicopters spawn in on you. And then go full forward as much as possible and hopefully you make it back. Many times I've done it with no damage to the car at all. Occasionally, I've had to drop the car and drive. And maybe I'll show you guys that in a different time. But there is one particular spot when it gives you the barge mission. Uh, I believe it's right off the coast of here, where there's nowhere to actually uh, snipe from. So you can't actually reach over there with a sniper. I think it's somewhere in that area. And when that happens, what I do is when you get those missions, just basically cargo bomb and just maybe you might want some cargo bomb practice, but uh, you'd want to just kind of swoop right in, grab the car quickly, and your cargo bomb will be taking lots of hits, but it is a tough helicopter. It can take it, especially from these ground, uh, ground unit guys. They're not like the buzzards. And then quickly fly as you're taking the damage away, and you'll be flying over here. The buzzards will spawn in on you, but carefully as you can, drop down the car onto the road here, and then land. And you might have to destroy those two buzzards to let you to hop in the car safely and drive away. Yep. And that's that. Now, some people think it's a good idea to, um, if you need to, to kill one of the buzzards. That way it stops the other, uh, it's from spawning in too. If you kill them both, another two show up. Now I think you can eventually kill them all, but there is a lot of waves of them. But some people prefer just taking out one, and then you've only got one following you around instead of two. That's up to you if you guys think it's better or not. It's one of those hated missions. Generally, it's even as you guys just seeing one of the ones I get damage on. <laughs> but that's all right. We still do it successfully. All right, I'm going to go sell that. Take care, everybody. See you again next time. Bye. All right. Here we go. Export. Money. Indeed. No one's looking for that plate. Okay. I can still work a spray can. Wouldn't recognize it. You good to go? Get yep. over to the buyer without sustaining damage, and we'll get the full amount. 
Oh, another little thing is let her talk. Yeah, because I know she's annoying. A lot of people hear it all the time, so you'll close the phone, right? But if you want an extra couple seconds before you're on the map, let her talk. Believe it or not, it seems to me like when I've been looking at it, if you hang up, you, the, the timer for five seconds starts immediately. And I think that timer is different depending on the value of the card, but we recommend top range only, right? But yeah, it'll start the five second timer. If you let her talk, you actually get a couple extra seconds before the five second timer begins. Okay, last little tip for those that wait to the end of the video. <laughs> Take care, buddy. Off to make some money.